Okay, so for this painting, I am trying two new things. One, I'm trying to loosen up my style a little bit. And two, um, I'm trying to do a voiceover. So, good luck to you guys. If you're watching this, I have no idea if I'm gonna be able to do this or not. Uh, so the theory behind this is partridge in a pear tree, except I really didn't want to put a partridge in an actual pear tree. Because partridges they're kind of ground birds and they um they don't really sit in trees <laughs> so i thought that that part was kind of silly um i do have a couple of reference images just for color's sake because i'm a little unsure of how this is gonna go and so they do have these beautiful patterns on their wings I'm hoping that I can show, and they have some really interesting, fun details in different places. So, we'll see if I can make this happen. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to loosen up my style, and I'm making an effort that this one should be a lineless. Um, I don't know if I can actually do that. My brain might not be able to handle it and I may have to go ahead and put line work in later. You just don't know. We shall see. Now the other thing that they have, depending, there's lots of different partridges, but they can have a darker underbelly with a lighter chest. And I do use a glass dish for my um, water, so you may hear me clink it on occasion. I can't help it, I'm just noisy. Now the other thing that they have on their wings and tail actually as well is these beautiful dark places that I just love. And I'm hoping that I can get it to fade into some of this light tan because on the wings that I've seen, it's almost like just the tips are dark and the rest of it is very white or tan and kind of soft. And their wings look so fluffy. I just love it. Curiosity, if you've ever considered being a bird, what bird would you want to be? Now these guys also have these beautiful markings of dark in here, which I'm probably not gonna do justice to because, um, well, I've never painted a partridge before for one. And for two, I'm just not sure that this is dark enough. Um, but again, we'll see. And they also have a mask almost around their faces. At least this one does. Um, I don't know, maybe they all don't. I'm sure there's some that have other colors and whatnot. Um, but this one, had a really pretty little 
mask around its face, which I thought was just fantastic. And they also have, which I'm worried is going to compete with the pear, they have a very bright orangey red around the eye, and then um, uh, bright orangey red beaks. So we'll see how this goes. Because I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to, well, maybe that's going to work. Paint on my fingers. Uh, And let me know what you think of this looser, lighter style of painting. If you like it, if you hate it, if I should practice with it some more, cause uh, right now I'm an epic failure at it. Okay, so don't be that mean, but you get the idea. In a minute, I will probably go ahead and shut up and speed paint so you guys don't have to listen to me talk through every last minute of this. Right now I'm trying to be easy with the water so that I can get some texture into these petals because they do have a little bit of texture. Now, if you don't like this real time stuff, tell me because I don't have to do it again. Uh, if you don't like the sound of my voice, tell me because I don't have to do that again either. Um, I want to, I say I'm a lot apparently, I want to appeal to my audience, but I also want to be able to paint what I want to paint. So as far as that goes, if you guys want to see me paint something, you're welcome to suggest it. Please do not think that that is a definite or anything like that because I never know what I'll be in the mood to paint. And depending on what type of style I'm trying to figure out will change what I want to paint. Um, I mean, that's kind of obvious, but I know some people are gonna get very stretched by that whole concept, very upset that I'm not consistent. Guess what? I'm not consistent. I will probably never be consistent, so if you want consistency, this is not the channel for you. And I'm not trying to be rude, it's just not. Um, I will possibly keep it family friendly, not sure right now. Um, we'll see how it goes. I do swear a lot in my real life and I enjoy swearing a lot. Why? I don't know. My mother hates it. My husband hates it. Um, but there's just a part of me that doesn't care what anyone thinks and I'm gonna do whatever I want. So, if you hear me swearing, sorry, that's just part of the deal. If you get lucky um, and I don't, well, awesome. I am using this green that I had mixed up to do parts of the pear. I'm really trying to keep the colors at least a little bit 
tied in from the different parts of the painting. It won't be perfect, but um, I'm hoping it will have the effect of pulling it all together versus everything being separate pieces because these were very separate references. Um, they have nothing in common. I wanted to build my own piece out of all of this and I think I did a, a pretty good job of that. Originally, I had a leaf in the middle and I'm undecided as to whether I'm going to show you guys the sketch on that I don't remember if I kept the tape or not. Uh, but yeah, originally I had a pear leaf and I realized that A, <laughs> it was too dark and it just didn't fit. And B, it was such a simple form that it just took up the whole page without any sort of style or substance. It just didn't seem quite right. Um, here I'm going in with... Oh, so the other thing that I'm working on, <laughs> trying to do so many things at once, the new style, and I am trying to work with a limited color palette. So while the bird, I just could not do the partridge in limited color. I just couldn't stomach it. It just freaked me out. So I used actual umbers and ochres for that. But for all of my greens and all of that, I've been working with a three color, there we go. Um, actually I should say six color palette. So I have three warm, primaries and three cool primaries. Um, one set I suppose would be considered to fit in the cyan magenta yellow category, also known as CYM. Uh, and the other set would be in just a standard Crayola color box, red, blue, yellow. Um, and I am hoping to learn better color mixing from this. Um, there are several artists on YouTube who talk about color theory and I really love some of them. Um, Otto Kano, if I'm pronouncing your name right, I hope I am. I absolutely love your channel. I watch it all the time. And um, if you're watching my channel and you don't watch her channel, I suggest you check it out. She is talented and knowledgeable. Um, I just, she's the one that gave me the idea for this limited color palette to try to better my color theory um, and color knowledge. So the idea is that I should be able to mix any color I want from these six colors, which, I mean, makes sense. Uh, they, you know, all colors come from a couple of colors. That's just how it works. I don't really understand the whatnots behind that, but apparently it's fact. So we're gonna go with it. And I am really interested in expanding my color knowledge and use without just buying new paints and, you know, spending a ton of money. Uh, I really want to see how far I can go with the paints that I have and the colors that I have. And I do have some really beautiful purples and um, all kinds of things. And you, if you stick around, you will come to find that I absolutely love, 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 love purple. Um, if you don't like purple, you may not like me. <laughs> I really, really love purple. It is my all time favorite color. Um, now this brown that I'm about to use is a color that I mixed 
from that tricolor palette that I've been talking about. I wanted to give a little bit more something down here. Deepen it up a little bit. Um, not sure I actually like how that worked out over here, so let's get rid of it. Another hint, I don't think you should be opposed to laying something down just to see if it works. I mean, why not? What? Unless you're re really invested in something. I mean, at that point, if you've worked on it for hours and hours, which, well, I have, but I don't know. I guess I just don't, for this particular painting, feel that strongly about it. Um, and also because it is a practice work. Like, that was the point of it, was for me to play and practice and do something different. But I think that being willing to try different techniques and play with your paint, play with your paint, it's supposed to be fun. And I think that that has a very important thing as far as teaching, learning, um, are you growing as an artist? Um, if I didn't play with my paint, I would not grow as an artist. I would be stagnant and boring and, well, you wouldn't want to watch, that's for sure. So I am going to darken this up a little bit because I wanted it much, much darker, but it kept fading into the colors that I had already. And then also, the seeds I kept trying to do this too but for whatever reason I was really struggling when I started this pair and so um, I am trying to readjust some things now that I have a better idea of what I wanted for the process and yes I speak with my hands I do it all the time it is fairly con hey I do that consistently uh, but I really, these seeds had this beautiful dark coffee espresso color right around the edge that I just loved. And I could not for the life of me get it. It just kept fading into the other colors. All right, I am going to let this dry and then I'm gonna put in some blues in the background. Just some very light blue because there was some sky behind the um, pear tree that I was looking at. And I may put some more detail in the stem and the seeds as well. Okay, painting is dry. I am working on getting the correct, I'm working on getting the correct blue that I want for the background bit. And I wanna make sure that I make enough of it, but it also has to be light, like very transparent, very bright, very soft. So let's see, I have my tea over here. I love tea. At some point I'll show you guys my tea lattes. Well, let's just test it on here. Uh, that's all right, actually. Ugh. I'm always messing up my paint. So if you mess up your paint, don't feel bad. I constantly make a mess of my paint. Now, part of this painterly style is that some of the colors overlap and some don't. And you get all these different brush marks and puddles and all of these things. Oh, I also wanna make note that the painting actually does stop at the bottom of the legs. I don't know why I kept going with the green. I just got color happy, I think. There you go, new terminology for painting, color happy. Color happy is when you just add color because you like it, even if it doesn't matter and it doesn't belong. So the idea is that it's, the painting should be weighted toward the bottom. And I wanted just these little fluffy flowery green stuff at the top so that it was very light and 
floaty. I'm, I'm just going to use the word floaty. I don't know what else to call it, but it is fun. I am having a good time with this. Uh, usually I'm pretty serious about having everything perfect and I make myself crazy and sick. Yes, I do actually make myself sick over my paintings being perfect. I can't even believe that I have been putting things on YouTube because it scares the life out of me that people are going to be judgy. Um, but I realize that there's going to be criticism. Oh, and also the painting stops here and here. It's a very long painting. It's not supposed to be a perfect square or anything like that. Uh, I realize that people are judgy and I'm just going to have to deal with it, but hopefully Hopefully on this channel, people will figure out that, you know what, you can have manners and have an opinion and you don't have to be rude or nasty to have an opinion. I think that those things seem to, how do I want to say it? People assume that those two things go hand in hand these days. You know, if you're giving your opinion, you have to do it in a brash, rude Bleh, condescending way um, and I, I think that that is really unnecessary and all that does is damage you and the person that you're talking to so if you're gonna be mean just go away we don't need you here if you're here to enjoy art stick around if you want to paint along with me that was one of the reasons that I wanted to try doing these more excuse me, having throat issues, uh, tutorial-ish, tutorial-esque type of paintings where it's real time instead of just speed paint where you can't tell what I'm doing and um, it looks confusing, etc. So if you want to do, I can do a paint along series. I've actually been thinking about, I have a specific series in mind that I would like to go live with. I'm just not sure. It's definitely not kid appropriate. Um, so we'll see, we'll see. Uh, but as of right now, I want to do a little bit of edging on the bird. I just want to separate him or her, whatever. I don't care. Uh, separate the bird a little bit more from the pear. And I think to do that, I'm gonna do a slightly green toned black, which you can't see because it's on the far side of my palette. But I think that this, yes, is gonna give me the contrast that I want right there. And a little bit up here. Partridges also really have smooth, 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 soft looking feathers. I was so shocked when I saw it because, you know, feathers, whatever. But they're really um, impressively smooth looking. Now I am finally going to, I said no pen work, right? But I do feel like this needs a little bit of something here. So I'm going to brush it in instead of doing pen work. So, kept my word on that. I also want to do a little bit more. I said I was going to do more with these seeds. I just, they're not as intense as I want right along this edge. Ooh, okay. That might do it. Oh, okay, Jessica. That's a little much. Oh, dear. All right, you can always fix things, right? Oh, I hope. Let's let's hope. Mm, actually, yeah, that that works. Um, yes, my hands will be in the way of your view a lot. I'm sorry if that annoys you. I just can't help it. Okay, so this is the final piece. I am going to let it dry. Oh, I've got water spots everywhere. Drippy mess. 
I'm gonna let it dry and then I will take a photograph and put the photograph at the end so that you can check that out.